We're working hard to ensure a bright future for all of us, but we need your help too. We're facing some big challenges about how we manage water, so we've got some important choices to make. We're facing a climate emergency. Our climate is changing and our population is growing. The pressure of more and more people is putting a huge strain on the environment, resulting in further changes to the climate, impacting you and your future. In England, we are lucky to all live within 2.5 miles of fresh water, but we can't take that water for granted. More people means more demand for housing, food, energy and increased demand for water. We're transforming our land, building on more and more of it, as there's more and more of us. You know, when we drive our cars, light our fires, run our heating systems, you know, the uh, emissions from those ends up in the atmosphere and acts like a greenhouse. The rainfall is, very, is more, in, more, more intensive over a shorter period of time during the winter time and that causes problems with flooding and also erosion of topsoils and sediment inputs in, into the rivers as well. The health of our soils and their capacity to, to soak up excess water and you know, their health is really, really important going forwards. We need everyone to make changes to help prepare for the impacts and reduce climate change. There is so much that you can do, even though it might not seem obvious. We all know that using public transport or walking and cycling more will cut greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know that by using less water, you reduce the energy that's used in treating and distributing water, which helps reduce emissions too? Helping improve the environment will mean that nature is much more able to cope with the changing climate. Come and help your community by joining your local catchment partnership. Here there's been about 300,000 trees planted, uh, 20 leaky dams, fencing to stop livestock getting in there and allow nature to build up, about five scrapes, so lots of different interventions that you can all see from the footpath. These projects uh, came about post the 2015 floods. Uh, and it was a bit of a response to kind of slow the movement of water through our catchments to help reduce flooding downstream. Even in your own garden, if you're thinking about, okay, I want to put a patio in there, maybe don't. Maybe have a look at keeping a bit of grass in there, keeping some vegetation, pollinators, anything that can basically make our urban environment more resilient to climate change and, you know, a bit more kind of friendly to the natural world. As well as hotter, drier summers, we're going to be having warmer, wetter winters. Make sure you're prepared for flooding. Check your flood risk online. Climate change is here and it will affect everyone. But there's still time to stop the very worst from happening. It's up to us to act now and act together. Small changes, big picture.